Hey folks, up in here in New Hampshire today, shooting the SGL 2166. Added a little bit of kit to it, uh, so we're just testing that out. One is the uh, US CAV three finger vertical forend. This is a very inexpensive vertical forend. It's like 15 bucks or something. And uh, one of the reasons I like plastic versus the metal ones is as the gun heats up, the plastic does not transfer that like the metal uh, vertical foregrips can. So that's uh, kind of a nice thing to have, and we're going to be testing that out. The other thing that I've got on the front of the gun here is we're testing out an another muzzle brake. This is the PWS uh, JTAC 47. And I've read some good reviews and some uh, good comments about this. So I'm going to shoot it, and we're going to try to do a sort of a side-by-side -side comparison between this uh, particular brake and the AK-74 style brake that I have from uh, Krebs Custom. We'll let you decide. I'll try to give you my subjective comments, as I usually do, and um, fire this thing up and see if it looks and feels any differently than the standard uh, brake that uh, you've seen on this gun before. So let's give that a shout. It feels good. Uh, I don't notice any significant difference between this and the AK-74 style brake. So I'm going to let the gun cool just a little bit uh, and then I'll flip the uh, other brake on and we'll give that a try. It certainly feels nice to shoot. It's the no muzzle rise. Feels great. Let me switch out the uh, brake and we'll check out uh, the AK-74 style brake as a comparison. Actually as a reference point what I wanted to do is we're going to shoot the gun without a brake on it um, and just see what that looks and feels like. <laughs> Now, subjectively, what I'm feeling is the gun is moving up and to the right a little bit. From a manage recoil management standpoint, it's not significant. But again, I am feeling that jump. So we're going to flip the brake on now, the AK-74 style brake, and see if we can see a difference uh, or I can feel the difference. Okay, so we've now got the AK-74 style uh, Krebs Custom Brake on there. We're going to give this a test, see how it feels. I know that I like shooting the gun, the AKs, with the brake on them uh, more than the ones that don't have them. There's a big difference. I don't know if you can see it, but certainly to feel it, the gun stays down much more, uh, and I don't have that same tendency. It's it's not going off and to the right like it was before, and it's also very easy to keep the gun on target. It's also softer shooting, so as we're shooting the gun. It's really very, very consistent. So, from my standpoint, uh, we're going to throw the PWS, the JTAX uh, 47 on there, break again. But boy, um, I think 
I think I'm still sold on the AK-74 style uh, brake with this uh, SGL-2166. So hopefully this brief, uh, unscientific review of a couple of different brakes and shooting the gun with off a, without a brake uh, gives you some sense of the value the muzzle brake provides. And I certainly enjoy shooting uh, any AK regardless of whether it has a brake, but the ones that have a, a brake on um, are easier to shoot. Uh, they're easier to get quick hits and quick follow-up hits. So once again, hopefully this was uh, enjoyable for you and uh, as fun to watch. I'm sure it wasn't as fun to watch as it was to actually shoot the gun. So, as always, thank you and stay safe.